For statecollege.com, I'm Laura Nichols. Day two of this Jerry Sandusky child sex abuse trial wrapped around 415 at the Center County Courthouse today. Victim one was first to testify. Something notable about victim one's testimony was that he was very emotional. Whereas alleged victim four was seemed to be more angry, alleged victim one had a very hard time maintaining his composure. He's only 18 years old, having graduated just last Thursday. And he never really looked at Jerry Sandusky ever, did not call him Jerry, referred to him as Mr. Sandusky once or twice, but called him your client when he was being cross-examined. He had his head in his hands at least twice, and when he was being cross-examined by Sandusky's lawyer, Amendola, he mouthed the words, make it stop. He did not like the repeated questioning he was getting because he said he was giving the same answer every time and that was the only answer he could give. Victim Alleged victim one cried many times on the stand. He, it seemed as though he was trying to hold it back, gasping for air, trying to regain himself, but it was not, it, did, it ultimately did not work. He was too overwhelmed with emotion. He also said that when he initially tried to tell his guidance counselor about his abuse, after hiding it for so long, they didn't believe him. They said, referring to Jerry Sandusky, they said, he has a heart of gold. You'll want to think about this before you do it. The surprise witness, at least in terms of a surprise to the media, was a former assistant football coach Mike McQueary. He wasn't supposed to testify until Thursday at the latest, but he took the stand today for about two hours. He recounted what he saw, what we all heard um, that was in what we had heard um, and seen in the grand jury report, what he saw in the shower, who he talked to. Uh, but it was it also appeared that Mr. McQuarrie was he was very aggressive in his answers. Um, he even had the the courtroom laughing at least three times in some of his responses. He said he wasn't trying to be smart, but he definitely had, he knew what, he, it seemed that he knew what he was saying. He did say something about wanting to still be a coach on the Penn State football team, but could not do it at this time. Make sure to check statecollege.com for all the f complete details of today's, complete details of today's trial. And for statecollege.com, I'm Laura Nichols.